And while there are signs of improvement, it's expected that one out of 10 Arizonans will still be out of work. Many have been unemployed for two years. For them, unemployment is more than an economic issue. Lisa Rule tells us why for the unemployed, a job is more than just a paycheck. People lining up outside of Walmart hoping for a day job. People that pawn Rolexes that you just normally wouldn't think would be in the pawn shop. Homes in foreclosure. All of the signs of an economy gone bad, which isn't <laughs> news to Kevin Ranger. Didn't see it coming. You kind of take things for granted, you know what I mean? Living a good life, having all the, the toys that we like, and then wake up and it's gone. Kevin is unemployed and has been for two years. With a family of six in a one-bedroom apartment, not getting paid isn't an option anymore. It's a terrible feeling to go back home and face your wife and say, there's nothing, you know. And you look at your kids and they're crying. Your baby need diapers, you milk, anything. It's, it's really rough. Come on back. Kevin isn't the only Arizonan having a rough time getting by. Sometimes it seems the only business booming is the food bank business. Yeah, it's starting to pick up, man. This is your basic uh, traffic jam. <laughs> this time two years ago in 2008, we were distributing about 43 million pounds of food. Right now we're distributing about 72 million pounds of food. <laughs> As the line for help grows, so does the variety of people standing in it. Folks who, who have never used the food bank before, folks who never thought they would be here, folks who, are, who, thought, who were donors to the food bank up until the last two years are now coming to the food bank for help. It makes you feel small. You can't do anything. You know, you can't go places. You can't buy your favorite shoes. You know what I mean? You got to stick with the budget. Because a job means more than the things a job buys. It becomes a part of who you are, how you define yourself, especially in American society. Your next question after being introduced to someone is, oh, what do you do? What am I going to do? You know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really hard. For Kevin and so many others like him who don't want to wait in that parking lot every morning for a job or sell their prized possessions or lose their homes, they'll continue to wait for a chance to start over again. In Phoenix, Lisa Rule, Cronkite News.